Sierra here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in and coming to hang out with me while I make another soap. Typically I would start out by mixing together my lye solution and my oils for a soap, but today I'm, I'm trying something new and it's more of an experiment maybe. Never done this before and I don't know how it's going to turn out, <laughs> but I'm doing a soap based around this fragrance called Fresh Fruit Slices. And what I did is I made a whole bunch of soap dough columns in the shape of citrus fruits like oranges and lemons. And then I cut them into little slices. And what I'm doing is I am going to glue them onto the inside of my mold. I want to know what it looks like when you cut into something and it has a design or an embed on the side of the soap. So I'm very curious if this is going to even work <laughs> or if I'm wasting my time. So this soap is going to be very rainbow themed, but unintentionally. It just that it's going to have all kinds of different fruits on it. I've pulled out all of my fruit embed molds to make the embeds for the soap. And it's just so colorful because I'm, I literally have, I don't know, maybe 10 different fruits um, shapes going on here. <laughs> and it might look a little rainbow. So, crossing my fingers if this turns out. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever do it again. It is a lot of work, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to give it a try. So a little bit of melt and pour on the side of these and just sticking them on the side of the mold. And hopefully they stay long enough for me to get my soap batter in here. So this might take me a minute. So I've set that off to the side and crossed my fingers that everything stays. <laughs> I also have all of my column molds made out of soap dough again that I've put off to the side. So I've got like this will be an apple, there's a blueberry, some oranges, lemons. Each one is going to be a little different each bar. So I'll have to gingerly, very carefully <laughs> place them into my mold so I don't knock any of those slices off the side. I'm going to start by just coloring my whole entire batter here because it's all going to be this candy apple red. Mix that in and then I'll add my lye solution and get to mixing that up and pouring and praying <laughs> that I'm not wasting my time here. Fragrance, which is the fruit, fresh fruit slices by Nature's Garden. It has notes of orange, strawberry, apple, grapes, and shaved coconut. Yep. It seems to be a very well behaved fragrance, so let's pour this in and hope that none of those <laughs> slices come off. We're going to have some very interesting shapes on the inside of this soap. And then once I get some of this poured in, I'm going to attempt to put in those column embeds.
I think I managed to pull off this design. So I've got my frosting on top of here. I did a very messy <laughs> mica, oil, mica and oil drizzle to go on top. And then for my embeds, I have all kinds of pieces of fruit for embeds. I literally pulled out every single mold I had. I had some leftovers, like this one here. We have a lime slice that is from the ginger lemon lime soap that I did. So each one of these soaps is just going to be a little bit different. I've got some dragon fruit, some blueberries, there's some leftover lemon slices in here from my lavender and lemon. So we're going to just get a little funky here <laughs> and put all kinds of different fruits on each one of these. And I'm going to start with like the blueberries, the raspberries, and then I will go on to the orange slices because I have a lot of those and I don't want each soap to have more than one. But we'll see. I didn't count anything here. I just made a whole bunch of embeds <laughs> and I'm going to place them randomly all over this. So I know it has been a very unusual year for every run, everyone, every run, okay, everyone. A very unusual way of talking. <laughs> today. Um, and things just haven't been normal as far as, you know, summer and activities and seeing people and whatnot. But has there been anything fun that anyone has done for this summer? I count Brad and I lucky that we didn't have anything big planned that got canceled or ruined like weddings or, um, big trips internationally so you know nothing was planned for this year at all and I know some people are still trying to find ways to get out of the house and do stuff so I want to know what what's the most exciting thing that you have done this summer if anything <laughs> we did manage to get a road trip in we went to Pittsburgh Pennsylvania just a little day trip. Hit a nice little breakfast stop called the Door Stop. And we went to the National Aviary. Aviary? So, lots of birds. <laughs> um, never heard of it, but my sister-in-law told me about it. And so, of course, that was on my list of just something to get out and do. And I wasn't disappointed. It was a very nice experience. And if you're ever in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I highly suggest it. It's about a five, no, four, four plus hour drive for us to go do this. But Bradley and I like road trips. We always have done that since we've been dating and it's been a very long time. Road trips have been our thing. Um, it is one of the largest aviaries in the country. And it's a very immersive experience. So you can have encounters with different animals. Like there's a sloth there. They have different parrots that you can feed. Of course, a lot of things weren't available to us because, you know, birds don't wash their hands. They don't sanitize in between people handling them. So we didn't get to do that. Um, $100 to hold a sloth or feed a sloth, I, I will pass. But 150 species of birds from around the world was just mind-boggling. I mean, some people live with these type of birds every single day and it just, it doesn't phase them. But when I see a toucan up close, <laughs> I am in awe. Or a tawny frogmouth. It's a very funny looking bird, by the way. I highly suggest that you look that up. 
um, I don't know, there was all kinds of different things that, I, ooh, no, Tiara, that's a dragon fruit on a dragon fruit. Pay attention. Lots and lots of animals that I have never seen before. And one of the things that I had forgotten about was the sloth. They have a sloth there named Wookie. And we were leaving, once we thought we had saw everything, walked back, did it again, walked back into the main area and encountered the sloth. So, I mean, you walk into the conservatory and there's, there's just birds flying around everywhere. Luckily, not, neither one of us got pooped on. <laughs> so that was a blessing. <laughs> Saw lots of bird poop, but didn't get pooped on. And I look up and there's the sloth. And I was just like, oh wow, I forgot about him. He starts climbing on this rope over my head. Like he crosses the whole entire walkway over top of me and it was just the coolest experience ever because if I would have reached out I could have touched them and I know sloths are so in right now everyone likes sloths and I never understood it but now that I've seen one that up close I think they look very soft and like awesome little creatures that I want to hug <laughs> so that was the coolest part of that adventure and I got some really good pictures so I will post some of those at the end of this video. But how funky and fruity is this soap? I am enjoying it. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of different neon glitters on here. And then I will come back in 24 hours and cut it. So let's see, I, I believe that I have pulled off that design and that it is an option if I ever wanted to try it again. This is the one with the blueberry inside. So we got all our fruit slices on the inside and the outside. I don't know what other designs could I do where I glue things on the side of the mold because it just turned out really, really, really cool. It's a lot of work, especially when it's all soap dough, but it was so worth it. I love having that design on the side as well, and it smells so good. I don't know if I want to call this soap fruit slices or fruit salad, but every time I think of fruit salad, I think of that wiggle song. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a choice fruit slices or fruit salad I'm not sure but I think this is a really fun soap speaking of fun don't forget to leave me a comment down below telling me what the highlight of your summer was it could be something so small it doesn't even have to be like a road trip or a vacation it could be something like you read a really good book that you pre-ordered and you were looking forward to or you built a huge vegetable garden and you got to harvest all kind of different vegetables and cook with them. I mean, anything that you guys got to do this year to keep yourself occupied, let me know. This soap will be available on the August 21st shop update coming up. <laughs> so don't forget to mark your calendars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and want to come hang out with me again while I make soap, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell if you want to be alerted when I upload new videos. Any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below or design ideas. I could use some other ideas of what to put on sides of soaps. Think about it. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I hope you have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.